afya kiakili miongoni mwa watu huwa jambo muhimu kwa nini jinsi ambavyo mtu anavyofikiria na kufanya shughuli zake za kawaida tangu mtu anavyokuwa mtoto mdogo hadi anafikia utu uzima Milko Yando ni daktari wa akili katika hospitali ya Oasis jijini Nairobi physically well socially well and mentally well so mental illness is part of a human being's health right from the time you're conceived until you die you have your mental component of health vijana wengi katika kizazi cha sasa kutokana na ongezeko la majukumu au labda kukosa usaidizi kutoka kwa watu wa karibu mara nyingi hujipata katika hali ya kuugua ugonjwa wa akili So when you give someone responsibility if they don't have the capacity to withstand that stress then they will just burst out in the name of an illness. So this generation of youth that we're having today I look at their their, their parents and you realize there are these parents who are out looking making out, making life finance, financially but not being there presently for the child. So Physically the child moved on. Academically they were funded, but socially absent parents. Daktari Oyando anaelezea kuwa uhusiano wa mtoto mdogo na familia nyumbani uchangia pakubwa katika ukuaji wa mtoto, jambo ambalo huenda likaadhiri akili yake. It comes right from your genetics, what you inherit from your parents. Sometimes you just inherit that illness. And when you come to the doctor and they're talking to you and you have maybe bipolar, you'll here the doctor asking do you know anyone in your family who also you get because it runs in families then there is the what we call now that's genetic then there's what we call the biological like what happens during pregnancy and in your early childhood if there's any illness your mother had or they had stress themselves it's transmitted to the child lakini mtu anawezaje kujua kuwa na ugonjwa wa akili? When you find someone who is sad, totally sad, continuous two weeks, that is someone who is having a mental breakdown, you get. Or you on the other hand and you're too happy, too energetic, you know, the way you know how you run your day. But then there's this day that you're even able to lift up huge tank alone unassisted. Eh? Ni hivi maajuzi tu ambapo mwanafunzi mmoja kutoka chuo kikuu cha Mount Kenya alijitia kitanzi kutokana na kilio anachokitaja kwa wingi wa mawazo. Huku duru za kuaminika zikiarifu kuwa alikuwa na mawazo ya mpenziwe. Kutokana na utafiti uliofanywa na shirika la afya duniani WHO mwaka 2017 idadi ya watu ambao hujitoa uhai imegonga tatu na inne. Hii ikiwa sawa na asilimia moja kati ya vifo vyote vinavyotokea nchini. Kutokana na mawazo mengi kichwani wakati mwingine huwafanya vijana kujitosa katika mihadarati. Shila Nkatha ni mwanamuziki na mwanafunzi katika chuo kikuu cha Multimedia. Okay, they mostly smoke to be creative. Others smoke to release the pressure and to be hyperactive in the booth, especially recording those hyped up songs. Yeah. Mary Wahome ambaye ni mwanafunzi kutoka chuo kikuu cha Mount Kenya, almaarufu MKU, alianzisha kampeni ya kupunguza ongezeko la ugonjwa wa kiakili miongoni mwa vijana. Marafiki wengi be just because ya depression. Wanaenda into depression and kidogo kidogo suicidal. Wanakuwa suicidal. So uh, siku anataka pia mimi ama mtu mwingine anguke into the same trap. Yeah. Paul Kirobi TV47 Nairobi